cooking show at the Farms Y Kitchen. I'm Camden, and today I have Maya to my left, and Adochi and Riley to my right. And the first segment that we'll be trying out today is the pumpkin soup. So as you can see, we have all of our ingredients laid out here. Thankfully, we have some onions chopped already and some pumpkin prepared. So I think we'll get started, get right into it. So. <laughs> Maya. Maya did some cooking over the summer, so she knows, she knows how to chop onions. So we're going to leave that to you. Um, maybe we should um, introduce the ingredients a little bit? Yeah. Okay. We can talk about where everything's from maybe a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, vegetables. Right. So the main vegetables we're using today are onions and pumpkin, and the onions are from Twin Village Farm, and they look really different from regular grocery store onions, you can see the layers even up in the stem, and you can tell that they're really fresh and really local. So while Maya cuts the onion, I think we're going to start with the pumpkin, mm -hmm. which was already baked in the oven earlier, and then we're just going to work on kind of coring them and so that we have the cubes of that ready to go into the soup. Yep. So for this recipe, we need two large onions chopped, and I'm guessing this is about one and a half already, so we're just going to do a little bit of onion right here. Peel it, chop it, we'll go over some knife safety, of course, and then we also need four cups of pumpkin, which after it's baked, oh, oh, oh no, <laughs> it's okay, we have a lot to go around, we just, Riley's doing a good job of scooping it out from um, the skin and They'll place it. Oh wait, is that the compost bowl? It is. Yeah. Are we? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, okay, just checking. Um, all right. So, just to go over some knife safety rules, we have a a good um. I forget what they're called. It's not an acronym, but it's it's, an acronym. it's called. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the acronym <laughs> safety. So first. Yeah. We want to securely hold the knife, and I think, yep, Maya was doing a good job of that. Oh yeah, okay. And then anchor board, so make sure that you're, you are using a cutting board. And then also make sure that it's not moving around, that it's not on an uneven surface. And then we'll have the fingers rolled back. I always know, bear, like having um, a bear claw, which, yeah, right, perfect. Okay, eyes on the knife. You got it, Maya. Take your time and yield the falling knife. So Ma, if you drop a knife, <laughs> just let us know and we'll we'll quickly get out of the way. As not to cut cut ourselves. Um doing good on the pumpkin. How is it is it easy to scoop out? It is, it's cold, so it's been chilling for a while. Okay. But it is, it's really soft, so you can tell that it's been baked for a while, so it's pretty soft. Cool. And Kevin, do you want to start working on the stock, maybe? Sure. Um, I'm assuming that I'm going to put everything into the pot. So I'm going to move the recipe over here. And I'm going to take the pot off the stove and just hang it over here. Okay. So I need four, or we'll need four cups of vegetable stock, which it's the Base, right? Yep, so it's four teaspoons of that and okay. four cups of water. Oh, good, okay. Um, four teaspoons. Cool. This is very interesting. Seasoned mm -hmm. vegetable base. I've never used this before. I'm excited. Okay. Four. Or I would put that maybe in the water. In the water. water. And then we can mix okay. it. <laughs> Good call. Good. Keep your eyes on me, guys, because <laughs> might might need to wash them. Okay, I'm just gonna scoop it. Oh, so I'm using my fingers. We all washed our hands with soap and water beforehand. So that's why I'm kind of messily just getting it in the water. Can we get past your things in the pot? Oh yeah, go for it. Okay, that looks great. Yeah. Wow. Oh, um, you can help me with the 
So now Maya's finished chopping up onions. That was super fast and easy. Um, good job. And we're going to move on to the, the stock. Just remind me that I've done four because you're at two. Okay, good. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay. Yep. And four. All right, so then we'll mix this. Oh, wow. Okay, sure. Awesome. Um, I'm gonna use a new spoon just to mix this around. Maya, do you want to put the onions in here as well? Oh yeah. So yeah. the first, our first direction in this recipe is to put the onions and the pumpkin in the stove um, with the stock. So maybe some olive oil too. In a minute. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Still some chunks on the bottom here. Not looking. Looking a little better. Do you want to mix a little? Sure. I'm going to wash my hands from the saw. Do you want to stir it around a little bit? That's good. I think it'll dissolve too more once it's on the heat as well. That should help. Oh yeah. Definitely. Awesome. Maya, do you want to pour it into the pot? Yeah. Go for it. Okay. Oh yeah, this is good. So the pumpkin is a little bit um of a fall theme. You could also do this as butternut squash, but um, I'm very excited to be incorporating more pumpkin into my life. Now that it's October, pumpkin spice. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to eat this, to try it. I love decorating pumpkins. Have you guys, have you gone pumpkin, pumpkin hunting, apple picking? No? Okay. I did apple pick, um, picking a couple weeks ago. Oh, nice. Cool. I have not done that yet. That's the fall tradition that needs to happen. So it looks like next on the list we're going to start adding in some different spices. Um, so we can grab those. We have cinnamon, nutmeg, pepper, and salt. And Doshi, do you want to measure or do you want to stir? Mm, I'll stir. Okay, cool. So we have a half teaspoon of cinnamon. Do you want to measure? Cool. And this will need to grind. So, teaspoon of pepper. Hmm. Oh, okay, let's, we don't need to use this then. Is that pepper? No, I'm sorry, this is nutmeg. Oh, okay. Well, we'll need to grind this into a teaspoon. A teaspoon. We might have to so clean the teaspoon side. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I smell through my mask and it smells so good. Yeah. I'm, ex I'm oh so gosh. excited to try it. This seems like a very Maybe you can get it over the pot. method. Yeah. This recipe calls for one teaspoon of pepper, which I feel like is a lot, but I'm just going to estimate here. And if it tastes really bad, you can all blame me. <laughs> um, oh. Oh. Oh, oh, uh, um, mm. okay. Hmm. Back and forth. Yeah, yeah. 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 Trial and error, trial and error. Yep. So then we decided today that we're going to keep this recipe vegan. So normally it calls for a cup of heavy cream, but without that, it's just going to be vegetables and spices. Um, and so the only other thing that we're putting in it is three tablespoons of maple syrup to add some sweetness. Ooh, okay, there. I'm gonna call that good on the pepper. Cool. You can always add more after after it's getting going. Mm. 
Oh, yeah. maple syrup is delicious. I'm really oh. glad we're including this in the recipe. I feel like it brings oh. everything together. Two. Yep. Okay. Three. Nice. Perfect. Yay. Okay. So our last step is, so normally we would let this simmer for a bit longer, but I think we're going to go ahead and blend it up so that it's all uniform. So yep. Come over there with the immersion blender. Did you hear me? Yep. Yeah. So it's, the recipe calls to, the, to let it cook over the stove for 30 minutes. Uh, we're going to blend it now and see what happens. Some finished. I don't know if that's all it is. We have some finished soup here, so maybe we could put some in bowls and try it. Yeah, maybe. Sure. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have a puree, one of these um, devices at home, I'm sure you can also use a blender mm -hmm. little or you can mash it. So this is not a necessity, but it makes it um, much easier to, to sure. mix the soup and puree it for sure. Um, maybe we won't plug it. Just for safety. Yeah. Yeah. Safety purposes. Okay. So I think we're going to go ahead and try the finished product. Okay. And I'm sure this soup would still be edible if you don't let the um, pumpkin sit for 30 minutes, but it's not the final product, so we're going to taste a previous batch that was gifted to us. Very cool, very kind. Oh, yeah, okay. of course. <laughs> you don't want to be Sorry. slurping it up here. For four. Okay. Yeah. And the other thing we were thinking is we have some pumpkin seeds as well. Mm -hmm. We could put on top. Oh, yeah, add, add, a, add a garnish. Yeah, so they're right in that okay. yellow. The done ones are in there. Yeah, we don't, don't want the, the don't get the raw pumpkin seeds. Those are not taste as good. Okay. Or I'm gonna do mine. And then you can garnish as you please. Okay. So we can start a Okay. <laughs> like this won't be possible for the camera's caption. We're gonna spread out. And try it. We just finished the pumpkin soup, and we're going to move on to pumpkin rolls. These can also be sweet potato rolls, but today we're going to use pumpkin um, as a kind of our theme food of this episode. 
So to start out, we're going to need to work with some yeast, which is very scary to me. Um, but let's just go ahead and get started. We need two tablespoons of, uh, or one and a half tablespoons of instant yeast. So we have the in instant yeast right here. And maybe one of you, yeah. or ta oh yeah, tablespoons. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go for it. Since I was like five. So we'll do it in this in this bowl right here. Okay. And then you also need a fourth of a cup of granulated sugar. So I can I can do that bit. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. So. Oh yeah, that's. Oh. So one and a half of these. Yep. So one. And. Uh, yeah, I guess. guesstimate. No, it's great. And okay. So here's one fourth cup of granulated sugar. Do we put like water in that? Yes. yes. And then we need okay. half a cup of warm water. Right, there you go. Oh. That sounds good. And then do we let it sit? Okay, and we'll let that sit for ten minutes. Mm. So we'll put that aside and be right back. Thank you. Okay. Later that day. <laughs> okay, let's just put that right here. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, you need. Well, no, we're showing. Oh, I thought oh, we were yeah. showing now. It's the ten minutes later. Yeah. We pick it up okay. again. Okay, so it's ten minutes later, and we've got um, the yeast looking very activated and Ooh, bubbly. Nice. Yeah. It's thinner than I thought it would be. Yep. <laughs> it's a little watery, a little. Sea no. foamy, it's very interesting. I want to put it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so now I think we're going to put this into the larger bowl. Yep. Because we're going to add more ingredients. Yep. Uh, so one of the other things that we have going is some warmed butter. Mm -hmm. So I think oh, we're going to put it right there. Out. We can oh. break the rest of that. Sorry, Cameron. That's okay. Make sure we get it all. There's There are some dry, dry bits bits of yeast that didn't foam up, but I assume that's totally fine, and just pour it into the rest of the, the mixture. So we're going to add cooled butter. We need three tablespoons of this. Right there. Put it right there. Um, tablespoons? Yeah. I believe it's already three tablespoons. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Maya, you can do one and a half teaspoons of salt. And yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and we'll wait for the teaspoon measurement. And then, oh, we need three large eggs. That's really fun. Okay, Riley, do you want to do that? Sure. Or, okay. You can craft them how you'd like. Usually I just yeah, we're make a bowl and one in the bowl. Yep. Perfect. Okay, I okay. put that in. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, three. Great. So before we mix those eggs into it, we gotta put the rest in. Here, how many teaspoons? Are we gonna need this again, or should we just go? I think we're, we're good with that. Yep, that's good. Keep cleaning as we go. Very important. Ooh. Oh no. Okay. Yep. That's why you measure over a bowl. Okay, and then we also need the flour and mashed vegetables. So we're gonna need four cups of. Does somebody want to work on the vegetable? Oh yeah, here. We need a half a cup. Delegate. Of that. You got, you got it. I can do it with you. Okay. And how much flour, Cameron? Uh, four cups. Yeah. And, then you, and then you're gonna need half a cup of mashed vegetables. It can be Ooh. sweet potato, yam, squash, pumpkin, anything. Yeah. Actually. Now I'm gonna take this tablespoon and just go in. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's very soft. And this pumpkin was um, baked a little bit beforehand, so it's mu it's soft, which is ideal. Going into a cold pumpkin is not a good strategy. Be hard. No. Okay. That looks good. So, okay. yep. Yeah, we'll just put this in. We've got all of our ingredients in here. We're going to need to mix it. 
So, oh, it says stir by hand. It says stir by hand. I'll put my hand. Not it. Right. Okay, Maya. Okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Keep the watch safe from the egg. I think we're gonna dry off over here so that when Maya's done, we can form the dough. Go for it, Maya. That's the best part of cooking. You can use your hands. So fun. And it says to do this for about five minutes, um, but you can you can obviously take breaks and then also kind of use your best guess. If everything looks looks mixed, then you should be you should be fine. Smells good. Yeah, it smells really good. Okay. So once Maya is done with that, that's going to actually set overnight. So you want to let the dough sit and rise and just sort of get all mixed together. And in the meantime, we also have some dough that's already been mixed. <laughs> so this dough has already set overnight. So we're going to go ahead and use some flour and we're going to start forming the rolls. Kim, do you want to grab that flour? Sure. Oh yeah, that's the very important part. I don't want it to stick. That's what we're going to get a good... some flour out on the sure. counter. Okay. We're using whole wheat flour today, I just noticed, which is usually different than the normal bleach that I use, but after trying a couple of the rolls, I would say that it definitely helps with the flavor. And it's delicious. Okay. So we're gonna Got the, the flour spread out. Yep. We really need a knife. Oh yeah, all the knives are down. into four. Very sticky. Oh yeah. Okay. And then everybody gets a bit. And this recipe calls for 24, but um, we think we're going to only be able to make a few less than that. Mine, you want a piece? Get in. Oh. And oh you yeah, it's very sticky. On your hands as well. Okay. Might need some more yeah, as well. Yeah. And again, we all washed our hands after trying the soup. You need to stay hygienic when you're making food for other people. And for yourself. Yeah. Wash your hands when you cook it. Good. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. So the goal here is that we're trying to make some long sort of rope shapes with these. And then once it's long enough and thin enough, then we're going to turn them into knots. Ooh. And we could even probably split this dough in, yeah. in half again, the pieces that we have. Yep. Have like so this should make this too. Okay. Or even more than that. Okay. Cool. It's very fun to play with. It's kind of like slime. Looks like a But if you can eat it. So, for all the slime lovers out there, this this may actually be the recipe for you. Edible slime. Yeah, totally. I don't okay. want to eat it raw yeah. if you're using factory farmed eggs. It's a good thing. Oh, yeah, or eggs in general. Yeah. But I always taste the batter one? before. Yeah, me too. Things. I think With, that's a rule that everyone Yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. For sure. We're not alone on that. Okay. Yeah. A little bit more flour. Yeah, it's it. The dough is very sticky. Our dough is a little, little sticky, but that's probably a good thing. Okay. And just make the knot whenever you feel ready. So it should look something like that. Mine are okay. a little bit misshapen. And I believe this pan is already greased, so that's good. Oh, that's good. Okay. And maybe you can even make these in lots of different shapes. Yeah, that's a great point. You can make letters. Do you guys do any baking at home? Yeah. 
What do you like to bake? Cakes. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. Yep. Cupcakes are classic. Mm -hmm. Baking is very fun. It's very therapeutic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you're having a bad day, it never hurts to bake a cake. Oh, yeah. And then you get the whole cake. Okay. Ooh. Totally. Personally, I like frosting cakes. Oh, yeah. I think fun. They're, you can go really professional or just icing a cake is so much fun. Oh, yeah. You can get really creative with it. Yeah. I enjoy it. Um, Good job, Camden. They're speedy. Oh, well, I don't know how they're going to turn out, but they were very sticky, so I just thought to get it done. All right. So after this, we are going to let them rise, sit and rise for about three hours, which is a long time. You can go and watch a movie and come back, and they'll be ready to put in the oven. So how long do they bake for, Camden? Uh, they bake for about 20 minutes. So let's say that... Yes, we've come back after three hours. We've put them in the oven for 20 minutes. And here they are. And here's, oh, the, here's the final result. After, oh, yeah, let's move the... Nice. Yep, let's get the presentation oh, yeah. Yeah, a little bit nicer. Also. Yep. So here's our final product. We all had a, had a roll, and they were incredible. Um, we didn't even warm them up. We just ate them cold, and they are the best rolls I've ever had. Uh, they're very soft and easy to pull apart and would be amazing with butter and toasted a little bit. They're, they're incredible. So, so that's it. Super easy, so simple. A little bit of wait time, but they taste delicious. Thank you, Riley. Thank you, Maya and Adochi. Thank you for watching, and I hope you replicate these recipes at home. Let us know how they turn out. And I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you.